all right guys and welcome um in this video i'm going to explain to you how you can install facebook pixel on your wordpress site and your sales page now the importance of having a pixel installed on your promotional pages is so that you can capture um all the details of visitors to your site now many other times we run advertisements without actually looking at wuhan who visited a particular page on our website if for instance you have a funnel whereby people land on your opt-in page they fill in their details and then they go into the sales page now with a pixel you'll be able to know the number of people who actually were able to visit the sales page now by so doing it means they actually had a first glance at the sales page now from marketing research it has been found out that you don't get to get a conversion for the very first time someone visits the page now if you keep promoting and retargeting them you can able you will find it very easy to actually um convert such a prospect into a buying customer so as such facebook pigs will help you capture those data and then when you are making your subsequent promotions you'll be able to do it. so without further ado i'm going to opt in into one of my advertisement account and create a pixel and i'm going to install it live and direct so you could see how a pixel is being installed and the event code that we're going to install you don't need to be a techie person in order to do this so i'm on my facebook page now uh let me go into my business manager account let me go into my business manager account now once that is loaded I'm going to pick a particular advertisement account I'm going to use. Okay, let's wait for it to load. All right. Now as you can see, this is a fresh advert account. It's still fresh. There's no data on it. Now, to get your Pixel up and running on this site. Now, you just click on this gear here come under measure and reports this is where facebook helps you to capture your statistics click on pixels pixels um just give it a little time to load just give it a little time to load all right now as you can see this is a new and fresh pixel nothing has been created here now if this is what you have has been your first time of creating your pixel just come down here to under create a pixel that's the first thing now you see pixel name you can give it any name you want to name the pixel because you can have a multiple pixel created on a particular hard account now the page i want to install the pixel on um is this wordpress site and um i want to actually capture uh, people who actually fill in this landing opt-in page um, a moment please so after they opt in into this my form and then they fin finally land on this um sales page for my importation um e-commerce course now i haven't said that the first thing you have to understand is you need a particular plugin but before we do that, let me just name the pixel after um, my course here, which is about importation. So let me go back to the, so the first thing, just give it a name. Let me call it import, import pixel. So I can always reference it when next I'm using it. Now click on create. Click on create. Wow, voila. So, um, it's been created and then the name we actually reference it with is what we have created here now you have to now install it on your website now um because of the flexibility of wordpress you don't need to actually bother yourself we have to install some certain code the first one is the base code you see where they wrote manually install a code click here now this is one we need to copy and paste into our header of our website now that we don't have access to the header in wordpress what do we do now go back to your wordpress site go back to your wordpress site locate the plugin session click on add new click on add new 
now once you click on add new come to the search plugin area and then impute insert header just search for insert header the insert header wait for it to populate just wait for it to populate now this is the particular one we are looking for insert headers and footers and you can see they say it says it is compatible with your fashion of wordpress so click install now this should be very easy for anybody to do if you don't get it watch the video repeatedly and then you will actually get how, how it has been done just wait for it to install good it's now installed now click activate so it, it goes live on your plugin session now we have it activated this is it here now how do we get to use it just come to settings click on insert headers and footers now you can see because i already did that before just let me delete this now the base code that you want to get from facebook will be installed here and what this does is it automatically install the header pixel on all pages of your wordpress wordpress website so go back now this one copy the entire pixel code and paste it into the website header so just scroll down and then click this now once it has been copied, go back into your WordPress website inside scripts in header. Please, it should go here and control V, paste it here. Now, once you've done that, just click on save. Click on save. Now, now that that is saved, we have it saved on the header of our website. If I visit any of the page on this worldmentor.com.ng, it must fire the pixel now before i said that for you to be able to know if your pixel is actually working fine you need to get a particular extension in chrome it is called pixel facebook pixel helper facebook pixel helper go ahead and install this extension on your chrome so so that whenever you want to test if your pixel is actually working then you could know for example now if i go through a particular page let me check out for world mentor and let's see if it fires volia now look at that you can see it said page view so it's already installed one pixel found on worldmentor.com.ng so that's where the base code that actually goes into the header of our wordpress website now what we need to do now is this particular page is where we want to capture it so if we load this page in the browser the pixel is actually going to fire but we want to know how many people actually opt in and then get into this page that is where the event comes in so if you go back after you have installed this you need to now what install the event code so click on continue now there are different events you could capture as far as facebook pixel is concerned do you want to know the number of people who make purchases? Do you know the number of leads? You want to know the number of leads you've generated? A complete registration? People who actually go through your checkout? But I'm used to the purchase and the generating leads. So anyone who you feel like using, but in this case, we actually want to know the leads we have generated. So this is where we have the form. Now, where you are going to place the event code should be on the page they land on, which means nobody gets here until they've gone through this page that's when they actually get it so this is where we are going to paste the event code for the lead um generation base code so you go back into facebook pixel and click just check this generate lead now once you generate the lead just come to this place where it says send event parameters just click this once it has been copied now the plugin i'm using in designing this is called instant builder and instant builder has a particular um, aspect where you can actually install scripts and codes look at it is right here just click on script or codes now you don't install it on the edge just come to the body scripts and just control V and paste the code there so once you are done save the page once you are done just save the page now that has been done now let's check and see if all things been equal it's working fine just like we did check here 
so let me copy this so that the facebook pixel helper could make us detect if it is actually working voila so it's working it's working you can see page view and lead if it's not showing green then it's showing something like red or something that shows like um, an attention needed that definitely the pixel you have installed is faulty and you need to work on it so with this once you start running your advertisement and then you make it trigger your pixel from the campaign you'll be running just click done here definitely the event will be captured the event will be captured so you can always view the event that goes on on your website henceforth from here the number of page views the number of people who took action so it will make you to be able to retarget your advertisement and by so doing people who keep seeing your advertisement over and over again they will be prompt to take action so if you don't understand you just need to go through the video over and over again so you could um have a full glimpse of how it is being done so i think um with this little explanation you should be able to install a fixed pixel to track your conversions and um, know how your heart is actually faring whenever you are putting up a facebook um, campaign i want to actually warn you don't do a facebook campaign without actually setting up your pixel otherwise you will just be dashing facebook money it's very very important i think that's the best tool facebook has ever handed over to anyone who wants to get the best out of their facebook promotion so um just keep in touch with the channel and if you have not subscribed please do subscribe so that i can always update you with um some other informations and tutorial as time goes by there's still a lot we're going to cover so just keep crushing your campaign and um i remain just silly or like the major